A huge fire in Aurora today sent plumes of thick black smoke floating across Denver. This started at Colfax and Peoria, just across the street from University of Colorado Hospital and Children's. And viewers across the metro sent us videos. There's a really good chance you could see this from your house today. Aurora Fire tells us this started just before 1 o'clock this afternoon on the fifth floor of an apartment building that was under construction. Here's the good news. Nobody was living there yet and nobody was inside, according to firefighters. But a fire of this size requires a really big response and hot spots are still burning at this hour. Nine News reporter Rachel Kraus joins us live from Aurora tonight with an update on the investigation and what's happening at this hour. Yeah, Jenny, I'm across the street right now from that apartment complex where that fire broke out at Peoria and Colfax. And you can see behind me here smoke continuing to pour out of the building more than four hours after this fire first began. Aurora Fire still has a lot of the area blocked off so that their trucks can reach the structure, trying to hit those areas that are still ablaze inside. Now, here's what we know. Aurora Fire was first called out around 1245 this afternoon on reports of a structure fire. Crews arrived to find this apartment building that's been under construction for the past few months with a fire on the fifth floor. Firefighters were quickly pushed outside the building, calling in reinforcements to help get the blaze out. Now, luckily, no one was injured in the fire, but fire crews say it'll take time to get this blaze put out. There's, there's going to be multiple hot spots inside the building, and because this building had so much water on it, the firefighters and, and uh, investigators will have to look to see if it's even safe to access any of those floors. So they're probably going to continue doing what they have now, which is these aerial ladders putting water on them until they can say the fire is completely out. But that operation is going to be going on for, for a long, more lengthy amount of time. Now, as for what caused the fire, investigators have not yet said, but they tell us it'll likely be a day or two before they'll be able to even start their investigation. And to be able to do that, they'll have to go into the structure and make sure it's safe for them to go in and figure out what happened. Now, firefighters tell us they expect their fire department to be out here for a few more hours throughout the evening, working to put on any remaining hot spots here so they can make sure that this fire is completely out. Jenny. All right, Rachel, thank you.